Procedural TV shows are built around lovable characters and a deep sense of familiarity. Shows like NCIS and its forebears have remained successful for such an impressive number of seasons because they depict the same characters solving a weekly problem in a way that's true to their established core. Not messing with the formula is so integral to the survival of these shows that the whole genre is named after a word meaning to do things by the book. NCIS fans reward that consistency and unshakable core with their viewership, and the series has maintained relatively high ratings even as it approaches its 400th episode. That incredible fan energy has a downside, however. What happens when you introduce a change to your tried and tested formula? What happens when something about a character is altered in such a way that even die-hard fans stop and wonder just what happened? In this vein, there's one NCIS change that's far more controversial than all the rest, and still likely to cause debate among fans nearly a decade after it happened. Timothy McGee's voice. Federal officer, drop your weapon! Though actor Sean Murray has portrayed McGee since the beginning of the series, the actor switched to a raspy growl around the series' eighth season. The resident geek among the investigators went from a soft-spoken computer expert to a gruff and hard-nosed investigator. It's not exactly what I was expecting. But this change has gone entirely unexplained in-universe or out, leaving fans to have it out over the issue, even as the show heads into its 18th season. Curiously, the change in Timothy McGee's voice came around the same time that the actor playing him made some positive changes in his life. Sean Murray lost a considerable amount of weight in between seasons, and his sister Haley apparently even chimed in on Twitter to say that he had quit smoking. Taken together, it's entirely possible that the change in Murray's voice for McGee came as a result of his weight loss and better living. Some fans have taken this as a plausible reason behind the shift in his voice. One Reddit user speculated, Losing all that weight and quitting smoking can affect a person's voice. Another said, This is also around the time he got super skinny. Maybe that has something to do with it. As it happens, there's actually some pretty solid science to back this up. There have been a number of studies conducted to examine the effects obesity has on the voice, as well as what significant weight loss can do to it. According to Dr. Rena Gupta, the director of the Division of Voice and Laryngology at Cedar sinai Medical Center, excess weight can actually lighten a man's voice. Gupta writes, Excess weight results in an increased production and storage of female hormones and, to a lesser extent, male hormones. In men, there is a relatively higher level of female hormones and they respond to this. This can result in a slight lightening of the voice. While Murray was in no way obese during NCIS's early seasons, the extra 25 pounds he was carrying around could have had an impact on the sound of his voice. All that said, another contingent of the NCIS fandom believes McGee's raspy voice is part of a concerted effort to separate him from his earlier nerd characterization and turn him into a more grizzled and cool detective. Most fans are in agreement that the change in McGee's voice came along with his newly spelt look, but some hold out that the gruff voice is part of a larger attempt to make McGee cool, and a failed attempt at that. One Reddit user writes, The voice is part of his new cool image. They made him boring. Another poster cast doubt on the validity of the weight loss theory, saying that the change is simply too stark to be anything but intentional. They wrote, Weight loss may change the voice, but definitely not to that extreme. Regardless, the controversy is clearly not enough to derail the NCIS fandom. With both the flagship show and its New Orleans-based spin-off secured for further seasons, it looks like McGee and his new voice are sticking around for the foreseeable future. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.